Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. In today's video, I wanted to go over five poetry books that I have found super inspirational and super helpful in my art journal. So the way I art journal is I usually go with images and colors, uh, textures, things like that, that really inspire me for the day or kind of describe how I'm feeling in a textural way, I guess. And then I usually like to look for a quote that kind of goes along with how I'm feeling. Or sometimes I go about it the other way. I will look at quotes and find one that really speaks to me and then kind of build my page around it. So for me, having poetry books and quote books around is just as important as having tutorial or prompt books. I recently did a video recommending five, well, six of my favorite art journaling and sketchbook themed books. So if you're interested in that, feel free to check out that video. It'll be in the description down below. All right, let's jump into five of my favorite poetry books. So for this first book, I have the poems of Emily Dickinson. I actually have a couple of books with Emily Dickinson poems in it. This one has the most, I think, out of all of the ones I have. But when I was younger, I actually found a copy of one of my mom's books that was a collection of some of Emily Dickinson's poems, and they just really spoke to me. There's especially a poem that she has about a little brook, and I always liked that because even though it's not the way I spell my name, I always imagine myself in that poem and it makes me laugh. These poems have just an interesting tone to them. They aren't written in the same type of language that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So sometimes this brings a little bit of intrigue to my art journal pages. I also just really love the way that she describes nature and relationships, and it feels like I can really relate. This next one is a gorgeous book that I just kind of found when I was looking for poetry books. I sometimes just get online and start looking around. And it's called In the Event This Doesn't Fall Apart by Shannon Lee Berry. And I just love this. It takes you on an adventure. Basically, she starts writing about a significant other when they first meet. And it's kind of like you're reading her poetry journal. I actually keep a poetry journal. And so this really spoke to me in this way because it kind of felt like something I might write. And I could really relate to a lot of her feelings and insecurities and things like that. I really like this and I found some snippets in it that I have definitely used. This next one is I Wrote This For You, Just The Words by Ian S. Thomas. Now I have a few of his books and it was really hard to pick which one I wanted to recommend, but I think if you're going for the maximum amount of words to inspire you, this one has a lot of his works put together. Some of his books have photography in them. Some of them are specifically telling one type of story, but I think this is a good one to start on. If you end up liking this, he has so many other really great ones as well. I really like these especially because there's a lot of kind of short little ideas or bursts of poems, almost something you could see yourself thinking as you're going about your day, kind of a fleeting moment or thought, along with a few longer and kind of more traditional poems. A lot of these seem quite simple on the surface, but then they really kind of hit home on a lot of emotions that I think I encounter and I can really relate to. So I find myself grabbing this a lot. This next one is Love and Misadventure by Lang Leaf. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And again, it was really hard to choose which book by her I wanted to start with. I have a lot of books by her and I really love her writing. So if you end up liking this one, definitely check out some of her other works. I again find that she has a lot of shorter things that I can choose from, which is really helpful for me, especially if I'm looking for something to use in an art journal page. But also she has this really fun way that she plays around with sometimes rhyme, sometimes kind of free form poetry, and it feels very playful and fun, but also pretty deep as well, depending on which piece you're reading. I feel like she puts a lot of thought into the way the words go together, the way they sound in your head or out loud, and even just the way that the poem looks on the page. And this last one is a book I actually bought from, I believe, like a library used book sale. They were clearing out old inventory, and I grabbed this book before I even knew who Jewel was. So just in case you don't know, Jewel is a musical artist, and she also has written a lot of really good poetry. This is called A Night Without Armor, Poems by Jewel. Jewel has a really dry way of using metaphor that is incredibly descriptive and super emotional. And I really just feel her poems. And I think I very much relate to them as well. I know I've been saying that with a lot of them, but 
That's why these are some of my favorites. Her books are incredibly descriptive, and I feel like I can feel myself in the place that she's describing. And I think that lends itself really well to going along with mixed media visual art because you can utilize that contrast between words and imagery and kind of bring it together. So those were five of my favorite poetry books that I use as inspiration. I have so many more, so let me know if you like this type of video and if you would like to hear more in the future. And also comment down below and let me know if there are any poetry books that you really like that you have used in your art or that inspire you in other ways. If you're interested in any of these books, they will be listed in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.